Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. And you're getting off easy today. I've got one story for you. But it's an interesting one and I think you'll enjoy it. But before we get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for the support. It's unbelievable what's happening on my channel. I'm over 7,000. 7,000 subscribers. I, I can't even explain that. It blows my mind. And not only that, but they're all wonderful people. And they, they, they get along so well together and they, they praise me constantly. It's very humbling. It's just an incredible experience that I'm having. And it's all because of you, so I have to thank you. So today's one story. If you can see it on the screen, it says it's harder to hate the other side when you come face to face. It's a really interesting story. A, um, a reporter has decided to travel around the country and meet people in different places and talk to them about politics and that kind of stuff. And so the first stop on his trip was New Orleans. And he writes this. Perhaps that's no shocker. He's talking about the fact that the people responded the way they did. This was a bacchanal, not a constitutional convention. But you would think that if we were on the brink of a national divorce, at least someone would have said something like, the problem is liberals, or everything would be great without Republicans. In fact, the overwhelming response to how do we fix America was a plea for greater kindness and less division. This is the American people. This is not the people that are portrayed in the, in the press. This is not the kind of people that the media talks about. This is Joe and Jane America. And I'm sure it's the same in every other country because humans are all alike. It was gratifying as someone generally critical of the less culture wars to see my own opinions to so gloriously reflected by these people on the street. For instance, when I asked six self-identified liberals what the left gets wrong, two interviewees, both of them black, specifically cited racism and race baiting. It was quite something. I thought that in 2024, any Afri African American should feel the need to remind his fellow liberals that we're all human. Other critiques were similar. We can be sanctimonious, one liberal-leaning voter told me. Another leftist lamented the inability to relate to each other as individuals. Another cited cancel culture, suggesting that the left is too inclusive of overthinkers. I would call them jerks. I got less self-critique from the right, but they've always been savvier at this kind of thing. If it's self-flagellation you're after, nothing beats Democrats. It's a really fascinating article, and, and basically it, it will restore your faith in mankind, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, it, I, I have no doubt in my mind that as he travels across the country, even to some places that you would think would be crazy liberal like say san francisco that he's going to find that most people are pretty level-headed they see things the way they are they realize that the politicians are blowing all of this way out of proportion and it it kind of gives me hope that the day will come when we get past all this junk that we have right now where we're constantly bickering and fighting and pointing fingers most of it happens on TV and in the newspapers and on the, uh, what's the word I want to use, partisan uh, media sources on the web. But there's a vast body of people in America that are sick and tired of it and they wish it would just go away. So that's the news for today. 
I have to thank you again for coming to my channel and I let you know that every single day I pray for you. I pray that you will live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God, and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.